DACA. Spectrum News 13's Jeff Allen is standing by in the newsroom. He spoke with the DACA recipient who made the trip to Washington as her immigration is very much up in the air. But first, we have our Washington Bureau reporter, Samantha Jo Roth, as testimony is underway. She has an update for us at noon on what the hearing's been with so far. Well, this case is going to have major implications for the future of DACA recipients, as well as executive privilege. And really, the big question at the heart of this case is, did the Trump administration properly revoke the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program, also known as DACA? And as you can see out here, we are outside of the Supreme Court right now. There are hundreds here making their voices heard, trying to explain why DACA is so important to them. And the justices of this high court are going to have to decide a few different things. One key question is, is this case even reviewable by the courts? Now, the federal government says no, it is not reviewable because according to the Administration Procedure Act, uh, they actually have a lot, of, uh, a lot of power and a lot of ability to regulate agency decisions. And, you know, the, uh, the plaintiffs on the other side of this case, they say that the administration's explanation as to why they are terminating the program is not sufficient. They don't take into account these some 700,000 so-called dreamers who have relied upon this program, who have come to learn a lot about this program. And so that is a lot of what they are saying here. And it really goes into a second part of this case. Uh, when the administration rescinded the program in 2017, then acting Homeland Secretary Elaine Duke put out a memo that basically said DHS is rescinding this program because DACA is illegal. Legal. Then later, some nine months later, Kirsten Nielsen re put out another memo with some reasoning there. Now, the federal government says both of those memos should be considered, and obviously the plaintiffs believe that they should not in this case. Uh, you know, the two justices to watch here really are Chief Justice Roberts and Neil Gorsuch, a strict constitutionalist. Uh, those two could really swing the court in, in the favor, and a decision is really going to come in late June. And for another part of this story, we're going to go over to Jeff Allen, who spoke to a DACA recipient. He has that part of our story. Jeff. Samantha Joe, for Ellie Garcia, the what the Supreme Court